Hello my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here and today we're going to be upgrading many different games with high quality components from Top Shelf Gamer. Now they're part of the Top Shelf Token Treasury Volumes 1 through 4. Now with these different volumes, they contain the Treasure Chest, the Harvest Handbook, the Elemental Essentials, and the Cataclysmic Compendium. Now these are on Kickstarter right now, so I'm going to show them off to you and then I'll see you on the other side. This is a Kickstarter preview and so everything you see here is not final. These are prototypes. So in order to see the closest to final production, you're going to want to check the Kickstarter link in the description of this video. So here we have the Top Shelf Token Treasury Set 1, and as you can see, it's made up of four volumes. Now going left to right, Volume 1 is the Treasure Chest. Volume 2 is the Harvest Handbook. Volume 3 is the Elemental Essentials. And Volume 4 is the Cataclysmic Compendium. Now, not only do the fronts of these look nice, but you could stand them up and put them on a bookshelf, and they look like books in volumes like normal books would. And even on the sides of these, you can see that they look like sort of papers, so they do actually look like books. Now, when opening the box, each of the components are in bags, and that's to keep them from falling into the different trays and such while they're standing up. However, if you take them out of the bags, then they're in their like resource component trays and this little black tray actually can come out of here and you can put it near the table as resource holders. Or you could just use it inside the book holder there. Now all of the components in all of these volumes clearly can be used for many different games and we'll summarize some of those later in the video. But first let's take a look at the components in the treasure chest. First, we have stone. Next, we have coal. Then we have wood. Here we have gold. Next, we have ore. And finally, we have clay or bricks. Now, most of the ones you've seen here are resin, but the gold and the ore are made of metal. Now, let's move on to Volume 2, The Harvest Handbook. Here are meat cuts. These are wheat sheaves. Next, we have grain sacks. Here we have ears of corn. Next, we have bread loaves. And finally, we have pumpkins. Here we have volume three, elemental essentials. Here we have blood drops. And notice these are not resin. Many of the components in this book are acrylic. Here we have water drops. Next, we have fire markers. And then we have frozen markers. Here we have electricity bolts. Now these will be metal, but these components in the prototype are just 3D printed. And here's some renderings of what the electricity bolts will actually look like. Here we have smoke clouds. And here we have explosion markers. Now the last two I just showed you are about 90% of the way there, but they're still going to explore some different ways of finalizing these, maybe with shading and ink washing or alternative colors for these acrylic pieces. Now onto the final Volume 4 Cataclysmic Compendium, we have bullet tokens, which are also acrylic. Here we have hammers or tools, and these are going to be metal. This is a 3D printed version of it, but the final will be metal. And you can see a final rendering of this here. Next, we have piles of bones. Then 
These are fuel cans. Here are gears, which again, these are 3D printed, but the final are gonna be metal. And here's some renderings of the final versions of these. And finally, we have nuclear waste barrels. Now I wanted to show you that these bits, they're heavy and they're chunky and they feel great in your hands. And yeah, these things are just top quality. Now you can buy these as individual volumes or you can buy them as sets. Check the Kickstarter link below to see all those details. Now these tokens can clearly be used for many different games, and you could probably even think of games to use them in that's not even on the sheet here, but this will show you many of the different games you can use the different volumes in, and it tells you how many of the tokens are needed for each of the games. So we have Agricola, and Architects of the West Kingdom, and Arkham Horror, the card game, and Bang, and Barrage, Catan, Caverna, Kalis, Champions of Midgard, Charterstone, Cloud Age, Concordia, Dead of Winter, Dice City, Dice Settlers, Dune Imperium, Dungeon Pets, Euphoria, Everdell, Flamecraft, Feast for Odin, Flashpoint, Glass Road, Glenmore 2, Harry Potter, Hogwarts Battle, Imperial Settlers, King or of Tokyo or New York, Kingsburg, Last Aurora, Lorenzo El Magnifico, Manhattan Project, and Energy Empire, Monster Slaughter, Nemesis, New Bedford, Pillars of the Earth, Planetarium, Raiders of the North, Raptor, Res Arcana, Rise of Queensdale, Scythe, Spirit Island, Steampunk Rally, Stone Age, Teotihuacan, The Castles of Burgundy, Tiny Towns, Zolk in the Lion Calendar, Waste Nights, and of course, many more. Well, there you have the top shelf token treasury volumes one through four. And as I showed in the overview, you can use these high quality components in many different games and you can buy a single volume or as many as you desire. Now, if you'd like to see all the different pledge levels available, you can click the link below me in the description of this video and it will take you directly to the Kickstarter project page. And I'm sure that top shelf gamer would love your support.